So guys, we pause here, and in this video, I'm going to help this guy. Hello? I need to see chat. How's it going, man? Okay. So, we're trying to get that auto grass working. Let me see um, your grass. So, you've got the grass type, density, all that. Let me see that out, that grass output thing. Okay. Okay. And if you hook that up into that result does nothing, right? Okay. Just hook that up. Let me let's see what it does. That Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's, that's the wrong, I think that's the wrong mask because that's the blend between distance. That's not going to work for something like this because that, that's dynamic, meaning if you move the camera away, it gets darker and you move it closer and it goes to white. That can't happen. The layer needs to be um, like hard. A hard written kind of yeah you can't do it there yeah the thing is I don't know if that's gonna come through I would put it on the final material the actual material that gets applied to the landscape okay well can you try it again I mean I just I need to see what's happening Um, yeah, it just needs a mask. I don't... Th that's not correct either. You need it to the slope mask. Um, this still the grass? This is the grass function, right? Yeah, we don't want to be in here. We want to be in the material, the, the landscape material, like wh where everything, where all the different functions are being blended together. That's where it's got to go. I think anyway. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Cuz I'm pretty sure is if we can feed it some black and white information it's going to work, but we'll see. It's just a matter I think of putting it in the right location. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I'd try it there. I don't know how the the um, the mask on the whole thing really works because I don't know how it handles uh, like grayscale. I'm, I'm wondering if if it ramps the um, density down. Which it should, right? I mean, if it's 50% density, or 50% on the mask, it should be 50% density.
Okay, so we see grass, but we see it on everything, right? Okay, so that's the dirt. Is that controlling grass? Because the thing is, is, I think dirt is spread more. It, 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 can you tell if it's showing up? Do you have rock in this material? You have three or just two? Just dirt and grass, right? Okay, so which one's on top? And which alpha are you using for that? So do it do it from there. Do, hook it to that one minus dirt slope blend. It definitely looks less dense there. Yeah, I think what you want to do is maybe power do a power on the mask so you can say hey, you know, the cutoff for this for the grass is sharper. Um go back to the material. See, like it, it's it's placing a little bit of grass or a little bit of the grass meshes on the dirt, and I think maybe it's because in those areas there's some grayscale values still left over. If you use the power node, it actually you know it'll it'll make the whole mask a lot more sharp and leave a lot less. Um, uh, it, it's everything's pushed either towards one or zero, so there's a lot less grayscale involved. So where you might be getting dirt there might be bad. So maybe you know, add a, just insert a power node between the grass and the 1 minus X and then um, and then set it to like 4 or something. Like the, you, got, you, got, you actually don't need to make a you can just go to the details on the left. Give that a shot. Let's see if that takes away the dirt grass stuff. Looks pretty good to me, man. Not a problem. Glad I could help.